So hi there everybody and welcome to the Vooster YouTube channel. On this channel we're going to talk about everything that has to do with the gear, the tips and tricks and the craft of filmmaking. So if you want to learn more about all those things please subscribe to this channel. So yesterday Blackmagic Design announced a new camera and for me at least that's a very interesting camera. It's the Cinema 4K pocket camera and even though it's not a pocketable camera anymore I would say that the camera might change how we look at things. It's at least as far as I know the first camera that's gonna have a, an XLR input directly into the camera and that's actually quite a big deal. Another thing that I really like about this camera is that the ability to record straight into an SSD that you then can connect to your computer and start editing, editing right away. These are features that we haven't seen on cameras this size before and I'm looking forward to getting my hands on this camera. And as, of course on all the other Blackmagic cameras it's gonna shoot RAW and uh, I hope that they're gonna implement the ProRes RAW just announced by Apple. ProRes RAW is probably gonna change how we look at RAW editing. Another thing that I was amazed by was actually the price of this camera. At 1300 US dollars is gonna be a really cheap alternative to all other cameras that do more or less similar things to this camera. Uh, RAW recording being one of them. Uh, it's gonna use a Micro Four Thirds mount and the sensor in that camera is very similar to the sensor in the Panasonic GH5S in which it's gonna have a dual ISO base levels, which is really cool. Uh, the difference being that the Pocket Cinema 4K camera is gonna have a native ISO of 200 and 3200. I'm not really sure on the 200, but at least the 3200. The one thing I'm probably gonna be missing on this camera is the lack of a viewfinder. Uh, if you shoot outside a lot, not having a viewfinder can be a real big downside because depending on how reflective the screen is gonna be uh, it could be that you have to use another camera when shooting outside but that is to be determined. Blackmagic also announced the new upcoming DaVinci Resolve 15 and the big thing there I would say is the implementing of fusion into the 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 app itself and that's a game changer when it comes to editing software. Uh, I am mainly a Final Cut Pro editor but I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on the DaVinci Resolve 15 beta and see how that works. If you like this video please subscribe to the channel we're gonna make videos like this and reviews and tutorials and tips and tricks on a weekly basis so if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and uh, See you soon. Bye bye.